All right, greetings. Um, today I'm going to do an algebra level 2 excellence problem that I found, and it's a pretty tough one, so hopefully I can walk you through it and um, make some sense out of it. Uh, here it is, and we've got um, quite an interesting equation there. So uh, if 2x squared minus 7x minus 4 equals this expression here, we want to find the values of P, Q, and R. All right. Now that looks pretty daunting. Um, so I think how I first tackled this one is um, I just kind of looked at this over here and I thought, well, maybe I can clean this expression up a little bit by expanding these brackets and collecting any like terms. And then I'm going to kind of match it to this expression and solve, <laughs> slowly solve for P, Q, and R. So here's, here's what I did. First of all, I expanded these through. So, okay, P, let's see, this gives me x squared plus 4x plus 4. Okay, so that's that part. I expanded this part. Uh, Qx plus 2q for right there. And then just a plus r on the end. Okay, and now I just expanded that P through. Again, px squared plus 4px plus 4p. And then I just have all this stuff on at the end still, and I'm going to clean up in a bit. Plus qx plus 2q plus r. All right. Let's fix that adjustment up a little bit. Okay. Now, from here, I'm, I'm looking at it. Uh -huh. I want to make this expression look like this expression. So have the x squared terms first, any x terms next, and any constant terms at the end. Now, this looks kind of weird, but I'm going to try to say that, that these guys and these guys are like terms, because they both have um, an x at the end, and I can just say that the 4p and the q are, are coefficients. So I'm going to write it like this and say that it's um, px squared plus, I'm just going to, when I combine my terms, I just combine their coefficients. So this is 4p plus q. Now, I can't combine those because they're not like terms. That's an x. So I just did that right there. And now, everything else is just kind of left over on the end. 4p plus q q plus r. Okay, now what? Now, here's... Here's the interesting part. Now, it says that this expression equals this first one. So that means that this big long thing right here must equal 2x squared minus 7x minus 4. And I'll show you why I spread those out in a minute. Okay? So these two expressions have to equal each other. Well, what that means is that I'm looking at these coefficients that, okay, t has got to be equal to 2. And this expression right here, this coefficient here, 4p plus q, well, that's going to equal negative 7. And then all of this leftover stuff here is going to have to equal negative 4. Okay, so that seems pretty daunting at first, but let's just take this slowly. Okay, well, I know p's got, got equal 2, because if px squared equals 2x squared, then p equals 2. So let's say, okay, so... Uh, P equals 2. That's done. Now what happens next is kind of like a chain reaction of solving here. Uh, so if P equals 2, well that means that I'm going to substitute it into here. And that means that 4 times 2, which is, which is P, plus Q has got to equal that negative 7. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 plus Q is negative 7. That means that Q must be negative 7 minus that 8. It means that Q must equal negative 15. Okay, now I'm getting somewhere. Okay, now for the last part, I've got this big expression here that's going to equal negative 4. Okay, and I've already got P and Q, so I'll get the values of these. So I'm just going to kind of put this over here. Well, this means that uh, 4 times the value of P, which is 2, plus... 2 times the value of q, which is negative 15, 
um, where am I, plus r has to equal that negative 4. And I simplify this a little bit. Um, 8 minus 30 plus r equals negative 4. 8 minus 30, uh, what does that give me? Negative 22 plus r is negative 4. So that means r, when I add 22 to the other side, I get a value of 18. Okay, now that's a hard problem to do. And I think the hard part is knowing to set these two expressions equal to each other, and we're just solving for those coefficients. And one, once we get P, well, then we can get Q. And once we get Q, well, then we can get R. Um, so, yeah, it's a hard problem, but there it is. Hopefully that makes some stuff a little bit easier. Okay, see ya.